Hi guys, Mikhail here from Device Deal for another video. Today we're going to be looking at Nekia Orbi Mesh Systems, which you may have heard of before, but this is the newly released Wi-Fi 6 versions. And today we're looking at the three primary models, which are the entry-level RBK352, then we've got the 752, and then the big boy 852 in the middle. They're really kind of distinguished between the differences and there is like a different point to go to each one. So we'll discuss that a little bit further on. Um, but the main kind of feature is that they've got Wi-Fi 6 and they're can capable of really, really good speeds and can work with all MBN networks. Okay, now we're gonna show you what's inside the box. The one we're opening up here in front of me is the 852. So this is the top of the range product. What's included as far as like the, the parts go are actually the same for each of them other than the actual Orbi itself. So the first thing you'll see on the top is a, let's get started. So really just showing you how to set it up. It's very straightforward. It's a three step process as you can see here. Just basically all done through an app now, which is the same as a lot of products these days. And then on the back, we'll show you the contents of what's inside, which we're about to go through, as well as just what the kind of LED indicators mean on the device itself. You of course just have your, you know, your warranty card. And then as we open up, so as we open up here, you'll get your first unit and then the satellite. Once you move that aside, you've got a box in the middle, which will have all your power adapters and whatnot inside. So just to kind of briefly show you, you can see your two power adapters for each one and an ethernet cable, which will connect the main router to your modem. Okay, now let's compare the features between each of these models. So we're gonna start with the RBK352, which is the smaller one on the front. First of all, it's capable of supporting, you know, anywhere up to 25 to 30 devices. Now, for most people, that probably sounds like it's more than enough. So that's why you'll find that for a lot of people right now, the 352 is a perfect way to start off because it is suitable for most homes. Uh, and, the, and as we've mentioned, we can actually expand, you know, with additional satellites later on. And the beauty of these is that you can mix and match. So even if you do want to increase the system down the track, you don't have to go and buy the whole thing again. You can just get an add-on satellite of one of the models above. So very helpful in that sense. Uh, another thing is that these are dual band. So dual band, as most of people would see, you know, usually when you make a Wi-Fi network, you'll have a five gigahertz band and a 2.4 gigahertz band, you know, based on some being better for speed and some better for uh, distance. So the front two have got that. The back two, which I'll discuss in a little bit, have a tri-band system, which I will explain why that's good in a little while. But uh, the speeds that the 352 is capable of, if you've got wired connection, you could capable of just under two gigabit speeds. So really, really fast gigabit speeds and is really kind of supported in, uh, you know, you can have it in like four plus bedrooms. So it's good for like, you know, small, medium sized house, uh, really, really solid speeds. And you've got your ethernet ports as well, which if you want to have a wired connection, so non Wi-Fi, you know, especially with gamers, uh, that's a really important thing. People would like to have, you know, uninterrupted internet signal. And when you're away from the router, you can use one of the satellite points with an ethernet point here to get that continuous throughput without any interruptions there. Okay, stepping up to the RBK752, which is the one on the outside here. So these ones can support more than 40 devices or 40 devices plus. So this is starting to look for people where you might have, you know, you're starting to get towards that smart automation home. You know, you may have your smart lights or smart fridge, smart garage, whatever that case is. You know, you're someone that's got a very, you know, technology savvy home and you really want to make sure that you can have suitable Wi-Fi across all your devices, again, without interruption. So these also have tri-band. So the 752 and the 852 have a tri-band system, as I mentioned previously. Now, the benefit of the tri-band is that it leaves you with a dedicated band, which can be between the, <clears throat> the Orbeez and the satellite devices. So it kind of just gives it a more clear way uh, to ensure you're not kind of bulked up by the traffic. Think of it like a like adding in a bus lane or a, a bike lane into a into a highway or the road. You know that ensures that that traffic goes smoothly and it's not interrupted by the other cars going in the other lanes. It's probably the best way to put it. Now, when you're also looking at the distance, so it's probably almost more than it's probably almost double the distance of the 352. So you know roughly roughly looking at more than 350 meters square that these middle ones can support. 
and you've still got the same you know ports for the wired systems as well so on the main router unit you'll have you know your main WAN line and then three Ethernet ports and on the satellite or all additional satellites you'll have your two as well so that's going to ensure you've got that smooth signal not that interruption that you that you're kind of gutting out for now for the big boys the 852 here which is both obviously physically the biggest and the top of the range now you may be thinking based especially on the price point because i won't lie they can be a bit costly it might be a bit you know overkill for a lot of people now which very well could be correct but the really big thing to look into is future proofing because the thing with these is that you know these days you might find yourself having to replace a router every couple of years because as the internet changes and the speeds increase you know another way to look at it is when the mbn initially came in you know it was you couldn't really even get 100 uh, meg gigabit speeds, but uh, also 100 meg speeds. But now these days you can get gigabit speeds and even faster depending on where you are. So to ensure you've got a device that can follow you in the future and not have to constantly change this, especially if you decide to grow, not only just as, as a business or as a home, or you start to become a more smart, auto, uh, smart home automated home, sorry, where you're gonna have so many devices connected to this, this is where it's gonna be the way that you can take this with you. Uh, also good news is that it is compatible with all MBN types. So you, all you gotta do is just connect it to your, you know, usually it's like a black box that you've got in the house and you're good to go. So it can just chase you forever, which is great. These things can support over hundred devices. So hundred devices plus, so tons and tons of devices. It's capable of eight gigabit speeds. So massive, massive speeds that you can get on it. Again, really big range. Again, over 350 meter plus, oh, sorry, 350 meter squared, a ton of devices. And then the one other difference between the smaller ones is the amount of additional wired ports you can have for the satellite. So with the router, you're going to have four ports that you can have wired connections to. And then on the satellites where you usually start to lose them, you'll still have four. So you can have four concurrent wired connections going at the same time. So you can have, let's say, you know, the main uh, the main router, which may some people be in a, in a, I don't know, the garage or something like that. Then you can have a satellite sitting in the office where you can have both, uh, you know, you can have a computer, laptop. If you've got a gaming system in there for some reason, you can connect that up at the same time, anything like that. So it's really, really handy for that future proofing. And that's, I guess, the thing I want to emphasize here is that this is something that you get not just for your needs now, but this is to think about in three years, five years, probably even close to 10 years. It really just depends. Although to be fair, technology moves so fast, who really knows? But right now, this is something that definitely will assure you covering yourself for the next couple of years for sure at that top level. Cause that's something you can consider as well is that you could buy something maybe one or two years ago, which at the time was considered one of the best. And then straight away, it's already gone down to the worst. This is something that you can be very confident in that even in a few years time, you're still gonna have a top of the range product. So one more thing I wanna mention before I forget, again, with the Wi-Fi 6 technology, it's actually got four times the capacity of Wi-Fi 5 and it's got a much more efficient use. So it even helps making efficient battery life on your devices, it makes it really, really helpful. You've even got a, a security benefit of the Orbi specifically with the Nekia Armor, uh, feature which is put into the app which is just it protects you from cyber security stuff so again another way that uh, sorry that uh, Nekia has gone up over and above uh, for this Orbi system to really make it not just a, a positive product but also a niche and makes it I guess uh, a bit better than everyone else out there so to conclude the Nekia Orbi Wi-Fi 6 range, looking at the RBK 352, 752, and 852, is a fantastic Wi-Fi 6 mesh system, which will take you not only from the present, but it'll also be able to take you into the future. They've got entry points for each kind of person or family or household, with the, with the 352 being for that entry level point, not too bad for the price point. 752 taking that next step up where you really wanna excel and start to grow that home network of yours. And then the 852, which is gonna future-proof you. And also not to mention the 752 is also going to future proof you so don't think about it as this is something you'd need to replace but that 852 is really just that next step to go on forward it's a fantastic device and you can mix and match so even if you are worried about you know if you know your requirements are something now and you're not sure about what you're going to look at in the future don't worry about it because as we've mentioned you can just mix and match down the track so it's easy to just start with a 352 if you like right now you can get some add-on satellites of the 7 or 852 or whatever else comes out down the track. So don't feel like you're fixed or limited in anything else you've got there. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed. My name's Mikhail. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.